gonna do is just do a very brief demo of this. And then it's gonna be super brief because in five minutes, you are gonna be in breakout rooms and partners and you are going to practice this with a partner. And we'll have the prompts for you, the questions that you're going to be talking about, but the, and we're gonna model how this will, how this will roll. So Mikael, you get to loop me. Don't make me cry. <laughs> No, I won't. I won't. So usually when we do these type of conversations, it's with someone we, we have some type of relationship with. So I'm going to ask Ellen basically three questions. Um, and the first one would be, well, not to get to know her, but so that you know a little bit about her. So Ellen, what is your ethnic background in this case? Sure. Uh, so I'm Congolese and American. My father is from Democratic Republic of Congo and my mom is from South Dakota. Um, father is black, mother is white. Nice. Do you, uh, which part of the Congo? Kinshasa. Nice. So we're here talking about, you know, um, divides within, within the black community. Tell me about a time that you felt disrespected by someone in the black community in regards to your black identity. Um, well, being black biracial, it's, and I was a kid in the eighties. And so it was, and I, there weren't many people um, who were biracial where I grew up and, um, and had this, that family dynamic that we had. And uh, I remember, you know, being in school in particular, like high school, when I first entered high school, um, someone saying to me, you know, you, why do you talk like that? You know, you sound white. <laughs> I was like, oh God. So I'm going to attempt to loop you. You said um, people saw you, they met you, and they heard you, and they said you sounded white and they didn't identify with your black side. Am I getting that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And how did that make you feel? Uh, it, was, it was crushing um, because... I didn't operate in my environment. Like I didn't think of myself, like I thought of myself even as a kid as black biracial. Like it was just the way that I felt. Um, and so it was almost as though someone was, when I heard you sound white, like stripping a part of me away and then and mocking me. Um, and I also knew when I was a kid, I, I wanted to be in journalism. And I remember hearing that and then questioning my voice and, and if I talk like that, it, will my voice even resonate? Does my voice matter? Um, and it was a, almost, it felt like a silencing of my voice. So what I hear you say is that the feeling you got was, it really challenged your identity and your voice and it made you more critical of yourself. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah, critical and um, much more self-aware. It made me feel as though who I was in my skin was not right. And so um, that was, that was um, a hard thing for a kid, <laughs> you know, to deal with, let alone an adult, but as a kid to hear that, um, it was just an uncomfortable feeling. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you.